the first step is to download the virtual box so you can go to the official website virtualbox.com and download both the files the windows host file and the extension pack now we will proceed with the installation of virtual box on windows click next next again next again click yes and install wait for the download to finish and then we will install the extension back go to preferences extensions click on the green icon choose the downloaded file and simply double click it and install it agree to the terms and conditions click next and the pack is installed now the next step is to disable your firewall and your defender simply click start type firewall go to advanced settings as you can see that the default firewall is on now you need to simply disable it to disable the firewall you need to simply click advanced settings now click windows defender firewall properties and turn off one by one private profile public profile click apply okay the last step is to disable your defender protection click manage settings turn off the real time protection cloud delivery protection and automatic and temper protection So the next step is to download the VDMK file and the virtual box code file. So I have shared this link in the video description below. So you can simply visit this link and download these files. You can download it from the Google Drive or the Mediafire link. And this is the virtual box code. You can simply save it. the last step is to configure your virtual machine simply open your virtual box create new machine you can simply copy the name of the vdmk file and place it increase the memory size and use an existing vhd file and you can simply choose the vmdk file and click create the next step is configuring the settings go to system remove floppy increase your processes to 4 increase the video memory nothing to be done on the storage part go to usb 3.0 click ok and close your virtual machine now open your command prompt using the administrator and replace the virtual machine name with the name that you have kept and replace all now simply execute the programs copy the entire line of codes and execute it close your cmd and restart your virtual machine and simply click start Now since we are using a low configuration desktop, these line of codes will take some time. So you need to give it some, some time. Don't worry if your machine hangs. Just give it some time.
the speed of execution will mainly depend on the configuration of your system. Now we will simply start with the configuration process. Select your location, keyboard. Click do not transfer any information. No need to enable the location services. You can though sign in with your Apple ID, but I won't recommend. So you can skip this part and do it later on. Accept the terms and conditions. Now enter the credentials. I'm using techrichard.com. Enter a desired account name, the password. That's it. Click continue. You can skip this part also. Now this will set up your Mac. It will take a market take around two to three minutes and you're done the last step is to update your OS and that can be simply done by going to the App Store You can close this keyboard setup assistant. Now click the Apple logo. Go to App Store. Now go to updates. you can simply update your system Depending upon your internet connection speed, you can install the updates. Simply click update all, download and restart. 